so let's jump into the uh, fury library so i'm just searching the fury library on the google that's what i'm doing fury apps library you can search it on the google it's free and you can access it now here if you will go if i click on the home button you will see this all application all application for sap s4 hana for cloud sap fury applications for s4 hana so all application and fury application differences on in all application you will also get the html based applications also okay and fury application for sap s4 hana is are the one which has been which has been basically uh, innovated for uh, s4 hana okay and then so you have also here that uh, get sap fury apps recommendation you can also go here to get the fury apps recommendation with this tool you would be able to enter your frequently used transaction codes and then system would be giving you feedback that which fury application you need to use it okay in the last session we have seen that this same kind of thing we can also achieve it through the readiness check readiness check can also give us that which are by checking our data that which are the a uh, fury application will make sense to us that also you can uh, check it from here so this is lighthouse scenarios these are the some uh, application you will be getting it from here if i open into a new tab so just browse the same way i have given you earlier assignment to browse over, to browse through the best practices uh, explorer and then we have i have given you road map viewer that has a lot of documentation and now uh, this is the one where which is having a lot of documentation for the fury applications so these are the lighthouse lighthouse application which is a big presentation which sap has created for each of the module it would be having application i think it's uh, somewhere around 170 pages documentation so this would be explaining about the frequently used applications the application which can be frequently used in sap which can make sense for most of the business and what value it would be generating so you can see here if i want to see sales within the sales what kind of application will make sense to me so i have a sales representative returns and refund clerk these different roles are there and uh, for internal sales representatives what kind of things can make sense okay what kind of fury application can be beneficial uh, that has been uh, explained here and what kind of value you would be generating by using those application so this is a sales order fulfillment monitor is there you can use the sales order fulfillment monitor to get a lot of information out of it okay so so it went into the application itself so from here also if you are looking forward that we are, what are the key application which will make sense for my business or in my module you can this this documentation can help you a lot okay this documentation would be helping you a lot then let me come back to here so you can go from here or you can also go from here the fury lighthouse application which is a sap recommendation which will be making most sense for for most of the business then we go here all application for sap s4 hana okay in this here you can go application with the roles or with the line of business so let's say your line of business you are looking forward is uh, uh, manufacturing manufacturing is having 461 applications so you can click on there and then you would be seeing that these are the different different application which is available in manufacturing you would be able to search from here if you want to search application you would be able to search from here or if you want to just say let's say i want to application related to production so we have here manage plant orders manage process order manage production operation manage production orders okay the star you see it means it, it has been done the changes has and the modification has been done in these application in the recent version okay in the quarter 1 2023 this application has been changed if you want to see more information about the managed production order so you can click it here and then you would be able to see that with which versions this application is available so it was available from 1709 and with the current version also it is available okay you would be able to get that what are the product features are there you would be able to get it from here what are the different product features are there you would be some screenshot of the application you would be able to get it from here and if you want more documentation you can click it here it will be taking you to the sap help documentation of this application what are the another application which can be used with it that system also is guiding you here this application would be used in which scope items okay these are the scope items the production order operation with manufacturing execution make to order production uh, semi finished planning and assembly these are the scope items where basically 
or these are the scenarios where this application can be used. So this is the generic information you will be able to get it from here. In some cases, you will also get some PDF document and some small videos also, not for each and every application, but for some uh, cases, you can find it out. Then you can go to the implementation information. This is the information which is required for the consultants. One thing which you need to check if the application does not work is your configuration that what are the roles has been used. So you can see that these are the UI5 applications. If application is not working, the first thing we need to check is business role. So this is the standard role which SAP has given. If you want to uh, use this application in a best practice client in a development system, Okay, so generally we start using with the standard SAP roles and later on when we go into the quality, we uh, start creating our own rules. So here you need to uh, use this role if this application is not working for you. The first thing you need to check what is the role, whether this role is assigned to me or not. Okay, that you can check. So from SU01 display, you can check whether this role is assigned to you or not. If this role is not assigned to you, then you need to request for, can you assign this role so that I would be able to access this application. Most of the module specific, if you have joined PP, if you have joined MM, if you have joined FICO, or if you have joined uh, uh, excellence training for uh, SD, the relevant roles we have already assigned to you. We only assign that which module you have joined, that module relevant roles we have already assigned to you. But if something is missing, you can let us know, but you don't say that I'm not able to access the application. You go and check to use those application. What is the role required? And you come up with the role that this role is not there. Please assign the role. In the project, if the role is assigned to you and still you are not able to access the application, then you need to reach out to your basis team. You need to reach out to your basis team by saying them, okay, this is the application. I am trying to use it. Okay, this is the application title, manage production orders. I'm trying to use it. This is my application ID F2336. Can you check whether this UI5 applications, these are the UI5 application, you can give it to them. Can you check whether these applications has been activated? And can you check whether these O data services has been activated? Generally, if the O data services and this UI5 services is not activated, you will not be able to access your application. That are the three major things you can check. I have shown all the three things, how to create the roles, how to assign the roles, how you can activate the OData services, how you can activate the UI5 services in uh, our training Fury for Functional Consultants. So uh, make sure that you start going through the Fury for Functional Consultant application, Fury for Functional Consultant uh, training program, which is a self-paced one so that you can get more knowledge on these concepts.